Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today's video is going to be a weekly vlog, which admittedly we are starting on a Wednesday because we've just been so busy. But I'll include some clips of what we've got up to at the start of this week and hope you enjoy the video. guys we're doing all kinds of videos this week and part of this week's vlog we've actually been doing some filming with Plop here Plop the Barn Owl lots to come on the vlog stay tuned um, it may or may not be Friday and we're only just picking up the camera but Icarus. We'll bring you guys along for a bit of what we're up to today. It's really miserable weather today but right now we're just getting up to the usual cleaning out of animals. It's what we spend most of our life doing. Um, I think we're going to film some videos for the channel. Um, we'll see what else. Hi you guys weekly vlog. What are we doing today? Well, right now we're up at the full cruise centre. We're going to pop the eagles out. We're going to feed the birds. Uh, we're going to fly anything today. No, we're not going to fly anything today. So we've got a lot of maintenance to do. We're very fortunate really that Joe and Emily are here flying the birds six days a week. It's not because I'm lazy. <laughs> it's because, unfortunately, I'm the handyman. What are you doing, Georgia? You're making me want to wee. What are you doing? Cleaning out. Ah! <laughs> the sun's out. Yay. Dad is... Wait, I'll show you. Dad's putting in these nice little stepping stones over here ready for when our guests are finding out back what are you doing dad? well Mrs Icarus Falconry and Mrs Raptor Exotics bought these slabs they're quite nice look at that then we've got dragonfly ones and we've got bumblebee ones and the only reason she brought them she thought oh they look really pretty and kind of naturey Maybe we can use them at the Falkery Centre. Well, they've sat in a stack now for just over a year and they're getting on my wick. I've broke two of them just because they've been in the way. So they're just going to be a little sort of guided walkway around here. Basically, just to get them out of my way. <laughs> anyway, off your truck, do something useful. <laughs> we are deciding which milkshake to pick out for our new episode of Five Facts Friday. Which one do you reckon? Wow, they're pretty snakes. I like the tangerine one. But the natural clothes are nice as well, aren't they? Oh. <laughs> pretty snakes. Which is your favourite? Which is your favourite? Oh. Tangerine? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you meant the people watching. <laughs> <laughs> no, George, yeah. they can't speak back to me through the screen like this. <laughs> Peaches. Peaches, yeah, she's pretty. Then Martha. Which one laid the clutch of eggs that are in the incubator right now? I've no idea, Dad. I, you tell I me. I have. <laughs> Peaches. <laughs> right, let's get this done. Stuff to do, stuff to do. Another one of the jobs today. We're going to have to net out more of these blossoms. Or rather, the dead blossoms that have landed in our pond in the avenue here at the Falkery Centre. Now, if you look closely at the water, you can see it's really, really murky. And that's all that organic matter basically rotting down in there. Now that's not a problem. I don't know if you can see this because it doesn't hurt our axolotls and all the invertebrates in here. And what that does do, it creates algae food. And then, let's have a look. And then, too much reflection guys. What I'm trying to show you is thousands of water fleas, Daphnia, 
we've got there. We've got some cyclops, other type of water fleas. And those guys feed on that algae that's thriving on all those organic, all that organic material from the rotting petals. So the pond's full of them and those water fleas are absolute superfood for our axolotls, newts, tadpoles even, and all the other strange, beautiful creatures lurking in the pond. Just a quickie. I've got time to mess about, you know, but have a look. Our little meadow, little meadow area is doing just fine. It's really starting to grow through now. It doesn't look much at this time of year, but there's something spectacular. There's one that I really love. Have a look at this plant here. This is Lady's Smock. Beautiful wildflower. It grows all over England, really. It's called Lady's Smock or Cuckoo Flower because it tends to blossom at the same time the cuckoos tend to return back to the UK from their living abroad lifestyle of our winter. It's a really important plant because it's actually one of the most important foods for the orange tip butterflies caterpillar. And we've seen them actually in here, not today, it's really wet and cloudy. We've seen them actually in here, settling on these flowers, having a sip of nectar. The males, and I'm sure hopefully the females have been laying some eggs. We might even get some, another generation of orange tip butterflies right here within the Falconry Centre. So Dad, what are you doing? Wait. Okay, what are we doing? We've got some weird materials in here. Pretty much food grade, plastic sheeting, um, plastic roofing material. This building here has had different uses over the years. And what it's gonna be, this shell right now, is actually gonna be the new Raptor Exotics uh, reptile room. And what we're waiting for right now, which is coming tomorrow, is all the insulation. We've fully insulated, fully lined out, so it's all wiped down above. Looks the business. Doesn't look it yet, but it will do soon. Come back and see me in, or maybe, maybe just a week's time, and see how this place is transformed, ready to take all the raptor exotics, um, exotic animals, and really, what it's gonna give us, what's it gonna give us? Hopefully, save some electricity, because this room, unlike where they live now, is gonna be fully insulated. We're gonna look at space heating, instead of all individual heating. Come back soon. Don't forget, like and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on that YouTube bell notification so you know what's coming. Cheers guys.